E-scooters around Cincinnati have become much more than a fun ride for young people, but more of an efficient mode of transportation for the work crowd during lunch breaks. For a quick ride, it's very convenient. If I got to get from one place to another, it's not too far. It's more expedient to get there than walk. If I don't have a ride or if I'm downtown and want to get from one part to another part quickly without walking. From the Central Business District to over the Rhine, the business crowd is getting good use of the scooters for their convenience. City leaders say they want to cut down on people who are using them the wrong way. On a typical workday, you see a lot of the scooters parked down here at OTR or being operated by someone on their lunch break. Some of the riders tell me they see some of the most dangerous activity at night or on the weekend. Nothing criminal, but I mean, you see a lot of unsafe uh, behavior with people kind of zigzagging up and down the streets or flying down sidewalks. And this Facebook post yesterday on the city of Cincinnati government's page says both Bird and Lime Bike have agreed to limit e-scooter hours of operation from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. effective immediately. The scooters are programmed to stop working after that within city limits. Any effort can help. I mean, at the very least, we're trying to do something and seeing if it'll you know, produce the results that we want to see. So. Well, this only applies to e-scooters owned by Bird or Lime Bike. There is a link on in this story on our website uh, for feedback on the e-scooters and new rules. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.